What is going on, guys? We have storms on both coasts, also right smack dab in the center part of the country. In this video, we're going to check in on all three of those, but pay extra close attention to the one battering California right now because this is going to impact a lot of people, first with the severe weather potential in the middle of the week in parts of the Deep South again, and then also with a round of very heavy snow for parts of the Plains and moving into the upper Midwest. If you're finding us for the first time, I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and we talk and track all things weather. I would love to know what you are seeing where you live. Post that in the comments below. Don't forget to include your location. Also, stick around to the end of the video. We almost had a sneaky tropical storm or subtropical storm develop early on Tuesday. I'll show you where that was in just a second. Here we go. We're going to start in New England and in Southeast Canada. If you're looking for some of the other stuff we're going to talk about in this video, I do have the times listed in the description so you can skip ahead. I would love for you to watch the whole thing, but I know your time is valuable. So let's get right to it. Here we go in the Northeast, specifically really in Maine. We had a nice burst of snow earlier in places like Boston, certainly Cape Cod. But it's mainly been in Nova Scotia with a very heavy rain, also into New Brunswick with some ice, some sleet earlier in the day in Maine. Here we go with this bright pink color. This is of most concern. This is where we have the freezing rain potential for us into Caribou. Bangor, we're seeing kind of sleet, freezing rain mix. Watch what happens as we move forward into the evening again. This is 7 o'clock into 8 o'clock, we start to see more blues showing up. So that changeover from that rain to sleet to freezing rain, kind of every single precip type imaginable all in one day here. And then that nice burst of heavy snow. So this is looking towards midnight tonight. And now most of Maine getting in on at least moderate snow. Some of that is going to be heavy. And then continuing through the overnight hours, all of that snow, even into western New Brunswick now, certainly into Caribou, Maine, towards Bangor, we have that very heavy snow. Most of us are going to miss out on a lot of the heavy stuff in terms of the accumulating snow, but as you see here, again, as we move into Tuesday afternoon, this is going to be through 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Look at that. Nice little burst here of about 6 to 10 inches of snow right on the northern tip here of Maine, closer to Bangor, more like 2 to 4 inches of snow as we get that nice little burst then that system starts to move away. I want to show you another little sneaky, impactful system coming in behind that. This is what is in the upper Midwest right now, but since we're on this northeast sector here, a little bonus as we move into the overnight hours, look towards western Pennsylvania, closer to Erie, the I-80 corridor. Here's Pittsburgh, a cold rain overnight. This is going to be at 3 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, that bright green representing where we're going to have that steady cold rain but look for the pink here. We could have a sneaky little freezing rain event closer to the I-80 corridor. So if your travels take you there, if you have to drive to work, just be mindful that, again, we could have some icy spots there right along I-80. Moving into the upper Midwest. Now, here is where that storm currently is. And as we move into the evening hours, I want to take you back towards kind of where we are into that evening time frame. Nice little batch of heavy snow, mainly northwest of the Twin Cities. So we are missing out on the heaviest stuff, at least at this time. But a nice stripe of heavy snow expected through the evening hours tonight. This is going to be now as we move into the early hours of Tuesday morning. So it could be kind of a messy morning commute into Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Paul. Maybe some flakes northwest of Rochester, Minnesota as well as this system kind of spins up and then moves on out. Now by the time we get towards the afternoon, so this is after lunch, 2 o'clock central time, most of that has now pushed into extreme northern Wisconsin. We are now dry in parts of Minnesota. If you are enjoying this video, if you're finding it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out a lot. All right, we are back at it in California now. Still some very heavy snow later this evening. This is 5 o'clock Pacific time. Still some heavy snow in the Sierras. Heavy rain as well in the foothills. Fresno, we are still getting some of that heavy rain. This is the last gasp, finally, before we really shift the pattern and we'll give California a break. Note where the heavy snow starts to transition. This is the makings now of that bigger system that's going to impact a lot of the nation's midsection through the middle part of this week. Here's Elko. We have some banding of heavy snow just south. Ely, Nevada as well. Las Vegas, we are dry. 
Going forward, you see that kind of pinwheel around. So we get some light to moderate snow in Elko, west of Salt Lake City, Utah. We have a nice little burst of heavy snow going forward as well. Mention the pattern change. We've been seeing the extremely strong Pacific jet, and this is the jet stream level here, just blasting California. That has been the pattern. We've had a big low in the Aleutian Islands, the Aleutian low, really helping to drive that jet stream into California over the past several re weeks. It's, the, it's why we've been so active. Watch what happens, though. The jet backs off significantly, and then we start to see this ridge build right in here. That is going to send the jet stream north. So now the active weather is going to head towards the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, getting into British Columbia as well. Now, this is also going to do something else to the overall pattern in the United States. A lot of my friends now in Montana and the Intermountain West have been asking, where is winter gone? Now it's going to come back as we have the ridge building here that's going to send the cold back down the spine of the Rocky Mountains. Stick around for a couple of minutes, and I will show you that extended pattern for the Intermountain West. Again, I'll have that time code in the description if you want to click ahead to that as well. We are fast-forwarding now into Wednesday morning. Our bigger system starting to take shape. There is the low developing in western Kansas, the heavy snow falling from Colorado into Wyoming, getting into the panhandle of Nebraska, even some ice right along the Nebraska-Kansas border. This is, again, as of Wednesday morning. Some rain developing in the Southern Plains. That's exactly where we're going to look for the potential for a severe weather. Southern Plains, deep south, later Wednesday afternoon and evening, specifically here in this darker green stripe from Louisiana, East Texas, East Oklahoma, Southern Missouri, getting into Arkansas, maybe even extending into Western Mississippi as well. Again, this is going to be Wednesday afternoon into the early hours of Thursday morning. Meanwhile, we have the heavy snow really starting to crank up in places like central Nebraska, western Iowa, extreme southern Minnesota. This looks like the main event portion of the snowstorm later Wednesday into Thursday. Now, there are some questions as to how far north the heaviest snow falls. I want to show you again the model output here in terms of the snowfall. And you see it does get some of that heavy snow. The purple represents greater than six inches of snow. And that extends well into South Dakota. Don't get too excited, though, if you are watching from the northern area of South Dakota. I think the Europeans game on here for the heaviest snow, potentially six to 12 inches of it, maybe more. But watch what happens. This is the operational European. The ensembles where there's different initial conditions put into the model, it's mean once that heaviest stripe of snow a little further south. So you start to question if the European operational might be a little bit out to lunch, and I do think it is. I think we're getting snow in places like Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But I do think the heaviest snow is going to fall in extreme eastern Colorado through Nebraska into Iowa and then right into southern Minnesota, right smack dab through parts of north central wisconsin green bay rhinelander the potential is going to be there for 6 to 12 inches or more of snow again i still think the heaviest is going to be right back in here in parts of nebraska so some good snow coming we will fine tune that as we move into tuesday there as we get some better agreement and as we get this storm itself to develop as it pulls away from california so stay tuned for that I promised again earlier for my friends in the Mountain West about the pattern change. And again, we've been robbed for, from winter, if you like that stuff anyway, for a good deal of the last six weeks. It's not a coincidence that while California has been getting battered, we've been relatively quiet. That is all going to change though. Again, mentioned before that the Pacific jet stream is going to change to kind of ridge out west here with a trough developing right in here, that is going to allow the colder air to spill right back out of Canada and then right down the spine of the Rockies. So this is fast-forwarding all the way out till January 23rd. These darker blue and green colors here are the temperature anomaly a couple thousand feet above the ground, which does translate to the surface. And you see that big blob of purple there right down from Montana 
Minnesota, into the, to the Dakotas, if I can say that, and then getting out into parts of North Texas. So it looks like we are going to close out January very, very cold anyway through parts of the Southern Plains, maybe into the Western Great Lakes, and then back toward the Rockies. You notice where it's red, though. And this is going to be a feature that we're going to watch going forward into winter. Big ridge of high pressure returns and starts to build into the southeast. This is that typical La Nina southeast ridge that should start to bake the southeast, maybe even getting up into parts of the northeast as well. Again, we've talked about this extensively on this channel that the last several weeks have taken more of an El Nino we like feel with that very active jet stream rolling into California. It does look like as we roll into February, we're going to transition back to a more La Nina pattern, which should bring winter back into this part of the country and then bring the warmth back to the south and east. All right, show of hands, if you're still with me, post that in the comments. I've been rambling a lot today. There's a lot going on with the weather. Now on to the bonus section here. We almost had a sneaky subtropical storm or tropical storm earlier today. You see it kind of spinning here. It's a little appendage off that bigger system that's kind of blasting Nova Scotia, parts of Maine, parts of New England. You see it spinning right in here, a little donut hole. Look at that. Earlier this morning, it kind of fired off some thunderstorms right around its center. Kind of surprising that it was not classified, but nonetheless, it was close. The Hurricane Center did highlight this with a little blob of yellow, if you will, giving it a very, very small opportunity to develop. But again, it now has a 0% chance to do so. But it looked very, very close. Hurricane season's the last thing I want to talk about after the rough season we had, especially in Florida. But again, a cool little feature there that we almost had a subtropical storm or tropical storm early on this Tuesday morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you do love talking about the weather, tracking the weather, or just want to stay informed, you've come to the right place, please consider subscribing. Again, over the next couple of days, we are going to be watching this bigger system with the potential for severe weather in the deep south again as we move into Wednesday and Thursday. And then the heavy snow from Colorado into Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, as well so that's going to be the focus here over the next couple of days also that big pattern change getting into a more of a la nina feel so winter should be returning to the intermountain west and northern plains over the next couple of weeks and then more warmth surging into the southeast thank you guys so much for watching post in the comments where you've been watching from and we will catch you next time